things you need now, and without them? Well, maybe that scout was right. Maybe you're not good enough. <laughs> nah, I can 100% say that the Sing franchise is not good enough. It will never be good enough in any sort of sense. I am not sorry. Okay, before I start this review, I actually want to talk about why I was gone so long because I didn't plan on being gone so long. I'm not sorry or anything like that. I was healing, but I went on a vacation to California with friends and we had a karaoke night and I ended up straining my voice because I was pushing it too much without any water because I didn't want to buy water. We couldn't bring water in there and I didn't want to be I was broke okay at the end of the day I was broke and I just didn't I didn't want to do that and so um yeah I ended up straining my voice and when I got home I did the worst thing was uh, apparently drink beer or drink like alcohol in any sort of substance and uh that that does not do well with your vocals being inflamed let me say so it took a, quite a while for me to heal but i am very close to being healed i'm almost i'm like 98 percent healed i still have like mucus and like a cough for the most part but like i, I i'm fine i'm fine i just wanted to say that that i i <laughs> <coughs> I didn't mean to be gone for so long. But anyway, uh, back to this. Sing 2 is a product and never a movie. This movie is basically the equivalent of letting a co-worker hook up to the radio and play their Spotify. It is the most basic, bare bones, no personality music you've ever heard in your entire life. I am not joking when I say this. There's probably like 50 songs they were able to use and I'm guessing that's where all the budget went because the animation is it's not the greatest but anyway going back to that there's only two songs that actually matter in the movie this movie is a hundred percent music first and movie second which doesn't sound like a bad thing but they never incorporate the music into the movie really it's just like a it's like an afterthought like the visuals are never really intertwined with the music or the media playing at all it's just mainly well mainly that's that's until the end at the end they do actually tie things up and the beginning of the movie but like otherwise the music's just there it's just like it's like you're going on a bus ride and like the radio's just playing and you're just looking out the window that's how this movie feels speaking of looking outside of a bus the visuals in this movie are not necessarily the greatest there is some scenes and some set pieces that look very very nice very well animated but it's few and far in between this is actually kind of rare for me but i actually do enjoy a lot of the backgrounds that we're in at least like you know the very good backgrounds that we're in but but you never really get they never get a chance to shine as they should because when there's motion or there's anything they use a lot of motion blur and motion blur just kills a lot of this like scenery that is not to say that motion blur is a bad thing in any sort of sense it's just that like when they are blurring it it's the scene just looks so fucking bad and they're focusing on like uh core characters their character design is absolutely abysmal so you're just looking at these horrible character designs and it's just like it just looks like ass all these characters are are just animals wearing clothes and no matter what anyone says that's just not good character design in my opinion these characters lack personality in their movement personality on like I don't know their body their face their features like sometimes there's like a ring or something like that or a uh, nose ring earring which is like absolutely fine but it doesn't do enough to distinctify each character and make it stand out or like feel like an alive character illumination loves doing this thing to where like if if the characters aren't really memorable or if they're just bland enough they can get by it doesn't fucking matter people are gonna look it's like it's strictly for kids but it's it's just not good content for kids speaking of there's a lot of music in this movie and there's barely any score like the score kind of comes in at the very midsection for like a second or two and then like at the very end at very dramatic moments otherwise it's either silence or it's just licensed music which i'm i'm just not gonna play you've you've heard it on the radio come the fuck on this movie is a jukebox musical and there is a lot of covers but the thing is majority of the covers 
are like lesser versions of the original and i don't mean that in like oh yeah of course they're lesser versions i mean some of these are bad like they shouldn't have made the cut oh i've been shaking i love it when you go crazy you take all my illusions baby there's nothing holding me back you take me places that top my reputation manipulate my decision ah, it's so bad oh my god i don't know why they gave this singer this song because like with the accent the sort of like uh feeling the character trying to go for when singing this it doesn't work with sean mendes's weird ass little stalker song it doesn't work i'm sorry it sounds so bad I think I saw you. <laughs> this is the worst scream i've heard in a minute but like why are they trying to make the song edgy and make it like have that sort of like growly nature to it. it it's so stupid the only songs that really are good and have a purpose to being there is the songs of Halsey and uh, Tori Kelly. They absolutely cured, uh, killed their performance. You. Oh, those runs are amazing. Oh my God. Like, I don't know why Tori Kelly is here giving 100% and embarrassing like majority of these singers. Like, that that's kind of crazy to me. <laughs> Now there is some slight variations and remixes of some of the songs, but for the most part, that's what you're getting. You're just getting the a lesser version of the original. If they're covering it, for the most part, unless it's Tori Kelly or Halsey, I think they are up to par. I don't think they best it, but I think they're up to par. They did a very good job. Now going into the story. The story is about Buster Moon basically putting on another show. That's all it is. They try to juggle six mini plot lines throughout the movie, but like, it doesn't really matter. It's not anything significant for the most part. The only part I really cared about is Calloway's part, which is meant to tear at your heartstrings. And it's, it is a decent enough lesson because loss is hard to deal with. And sometimes you do need somebody to talk to. Even if they went about it the wrong way, I still think it's, it's it's a decent enough plot line now i would talk about the villain of the story but it's it's just it doesn't really matter even though they are an actual villain they actually tried to kill buster moon and like i get i guess it was technically kind of brutal if you think about it but like i don't know it's such a nothing burger like it doesn't even build up that much like sometimes the wolf the the main villain of the story just disappears out of nowhere when like they're supposed to be making a big moment, they just disappear. And apparently it just doesn't matter anymore. It's it's so stupid, dude. Comedy in this movie sucks. The writing in this movie sucks. A lot, uh, Just a lot of this movie sucks. It's just, it's not worth your time. If you really, really love the songs that Halsey and Tori Kelly put out, just look up those songs. You don't need the experience, I'm gonna be completely honest, of the movie or the visuals. This movie feels like you're paying $15 just to have nothing really happen just to listen to the radio like what the fuck is this it's not it's not like musical s to where like you get an experience with a musical or like even a jukebox musical you get an experience with that but no not here you don't you don't get anything you don't get any feelings you don't gain a single thing you actually start losing brain cells i feel yeah yeah i think i'm feeling a pretty big zero on this one i don't think you need to spend your money on this in any sort of sense obviously you can do whatever you want but i personally feel this is something you don't want to show your kids i think i'm just saying i i think kids deserve a little bit more respect and deserve to have a better brain capacity by watching better movies not necessarily all like like intricate movies but like i don't know something fun more fun than this movie but that's all i have to say Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm out. Do I live is an untold story? I, I really, I, I really, I really can't do that right now. <laughs> I've given up. I'm sick of feeling. Is there nothing you can say? Holy shit.